Somebody in this country 15, 20 years ago was San Fran she destroyed San Francisco as DA. She destroyed California as the Attorney General. She was Attorney General of California. She destroyed it. Most beautiful place on earth. Best weather, beautiful ocean, and everything. And now you look at it, look at what it's done. And Newscom, Gavin Newscom, has done a terrible job. He's a terrible governor. She's destroyed it, and she'll destroy the United States of America if she becomes president. And all those things that she wanted, you know, a politician always goes back to where they came from. Defund the police. Think of it. She headed up to fund the police for, for years. She was one of the originators of defund the police. Anybody that wants to defund the police and is a party to that even for one day has no right to be the President of the United States. Right? Under my plan, we will cut energy and electricity prices in half, not only for businesses, but for our great young ladies from North Carolina. Your prices, they're pretty rich people, I think. I don't think it's going to matter to them, but it's going to matter to a lot. Will cutting the energy prices mean anything to you ladies? Still good, right? It's money. But we're going to cut it in half, not only for your businesses, but for everybody. Within 12 months, we will double our electricity capacity to compete with China and other countries on artificial intelligence. You know, people don't know the AI, artificial intelligence, is a big thing. Everybody wants it. China is already building massive electric plants. To be able to compete, you need more than double the electricity that you already have in this country or you can't compete. It is an electricity-eating monster. And we're going to be able to do that, and we'll be more than able to compete. We're going to be able to get it done, but not if somebody else is president. It'll be a disaster. To slash burdens on workers and businesses, we will cut 10 old regulations for every one new regulation. So I cut more regulations during my four-year term than any other president in history during any term. And we're going to keep it going. Some of them have been put back by Biden and Harris. And to the auto workers of our country, we love you. I am pinpointing you for greatness. China is right now building major auto plants in Mexico. They didn't start them with me. They knew that it wasn't going to work with me. As soon as I left, they started building. And they think they're going to sell their cars into the United States and destroy Michigan, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, a lot of other places where they make autos or auto parts. And it's not going to happen. We will put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that they want to come across our border and tell them only that they'll get rid of the tariff under one circumstance if you build your plant, not in Mexico, but into the United States and use our people as your workers. I will bring automobile manufacturing back to the highest level in the history of our country. We will be like it was 50 years ago when there was virtually nobody else to compete with us. We're going to bring back the automobile manufacturing at a level that we haven't seen before in many, many